Today we're going to share a very simple but powerful technique to reprogram your subconscious mind to help you take back control of your life. This particular technique will help your creativity and also your problem solving skills. And it can also help you increase your personal power. This is part five in the series, so check out the other ones too. We share many tips and exercises on how to reprogram your subconscious mind and get more life out of life. So be sure to subscribe to our Psychoso channel. 95% of everything going on in our mind is subconscious. The subconscious mind controls so much of our daily lives, everything from walking, talking, just everything we do from moment to moment. The power and the subtlety of the subconscious is really amazing. The goal of the subconscious mind is to keep us safe and to keep everything running the same. That's how it keeps us safe. Like we're, we're alive right now, we're, we're breathing, we're, everything's functioning right now. Let's just keep it that way. But that's where things can get a little bit sideways because it can get too much that way. It can work too well. And what helps us survive in one circumstance, like in a, in a trauma, in a crisis of some kind, that can get imprinted and we can stay that way. So if we're always getting activated with our um, fight or flight, then uh, we're always on edge. And it's not a good rut to be in, to be stuck in protection mode like that. And that's because by staying in that tensed up, you know, protective mode all the time, you've got the, your muscles all over your whole body and tendons are all tensed up. Your stomach's all tensed up. You get digestive problems. You get the picture. Well, it also means that when your subconscious mind is trying to keep things the same all the time, you're getting into habits all the time. You're forming habits. You're staying with the same approach over and over again. And so you get stuck in ruts. And that's partly because of subconscious programming. So what do you do to fix that? Well, you change your habits. So in that way, you, you get out of those ruts. You change your subconscious programming. You activate new ways of doing things in your brain. And we showed you different approaches in parts one through four in this series. And the fifth one today is very simple. I'm right-handed person, so this is mostly for right-handed people, but take your mouse that you're using at your computer all day long, use your left hand. Retrain yourself. I, yes, it's that simple and that ridiculous. I know it's gonna be a little bit slower for a little while, but that's okay. You know, you can always accommodate a little bit of a slowdown in your work, but give it a try. It, pretty soon you'll start to develop that fine-tuned uh, motor control and you'll get all your speed back. And here's the thing. This is what I did when I was doing my research. Years ago, when I was doing my research, I was using my right hand all the time and I was doing really analytical, logical, you know, computer programming stuff. And I was running into a dead end because I kept trying this one kind of approach, different angles on this one approach to solving the problem. Well, when I switched to my left hand, just totally by accident, that's when all the creative ideas came. And I had a whole different insight on how to approach the problem. And it, <laughs> I tried it, and it worked. And I was able to finish up my, my research and do it successfully. Well, that's because, and, and the reason is because, I was able to activate a different side of my, my right side of my brain more by using my left hand and training my left hand to do all that work while I was doing my, you know, logical thinking anal analysis kind of stuff. I was also activating my right brain, my creative brain, and that was getting more activation overall, new insights. And by using your left hand like that um, and training it to do all that fine control, you are literally teaching muscle memory into your into your arm, into your subconscious mind. That's what the muscle memory is all about, is your subconscious mind. You're literally reprogramming your subconscious mind by doing that. The faster you get, the more reprogrammed you get, and you get more activation in your right side, the right side of your brain. I'm not sure this technique will work as well for left-handed people. They already are forced to use their right hand in a right-handed world, so I'm not sure this this will help them as much but maybe. And this is another thing that this technique does. And this is actually really powerful because what you're actually doing is increasing your personal power. What is personal power? The definition of personal power is being able to adapt and act effectively in any situation. And the thing is, the more you adapt and change, the more adaptable you become. The more you push your boundaries the less you are bound. This technique can be very effective 
But if you're interested in doing even deeper work to reprogram your subconscious mind, then just contact us at sakaso.ca. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>